shout out to blazing boost for sponsoring today's video if you guys are looking to get anything destiny 2 related especially with the new season of the plunder the new raid king's fall these guys will get it done for you not only that they do have a trust pilot with over 27,000 reviews so if that doesn't say out i don't know what it does hopefully guys do check them out if you guys use save five at checkout you will get a five percent discount hey guys welcome back to a new video this is my first build video of the brand new season now i just want to say this build arc 3.0 is insane there's some amazing builds that i've been sort of trying out and this one for the hunter is probably game breaking i'm not gonna lie one of the best builds i've ever used to this day in my opinion now before we do start with today's video if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe Drop a like down below and let's jump straight into the build. So starting off with the build, we're going to be using the new Super Gathering Storm. This thing is insane for DPS. Just for clearing ads, anything, make sure you're using this Super. You basically hurl your Arc Staff forward, embedding it into a surface or large targets and jolting nearby targets. Pretty much this thing just does damage while you can use your weapons and do even more damage. So it is definitely the one to be using on Hunter. Abilities, you are going to want to be running Gambler's Dodge. Dodging does recharge your melee ability, which is crucial for this build. You'll see why later on. Then, obviously, your jump doesn't matter. You do have Blink as well now, so if you want to try that out, you're more than welcome to. Now, this is an important one, guys. Make sure you do have Combination Blow on. If you don't, it's not going to be as effective. Basically, this defeating targets with this ability also fully refills your class ability energy and restores a small amount of health, which is crucial because with this build, you're going to be up close to enemies, obviously taking a lot of damage, so that extra health is going to help. Now, I know a lot of people do like Pulse Grenade, but for me, I'm really liking the Storm Grenade better than anything out of these, so try it out. To be honest, I'd either go, I'd definitely go Pulse Grenade or Storm Grenade on your preference. Now for the aspects, what we are doing is Lethal Current. After dodging your next melee attack has increased lunge, jolts and creates a damaging aftershock. Definitely one of the best ones out of the aspects. And then we do have Flow State. Defeating a jolt of target makes you amplified. Basically this just means once you're amplified your dodge recharges more quickly. You're more resilient while dodging and your reload speed is greatly increased. It is a really good one and you will run about 100 mile an hour with this on. So make sure you do have that on. Now this is where it gets quite interesting guys. Fragments, spark of resistance. While surrounded by combatants you are more resistant to incoming damage. You're going to be around a lot of enemies because this build is up close like I said. So make sure you have that on. Spark of magnitude. Arc Grenades, Lightning, Pulse and Storm Grenade have had extended duration. This is just going to make it easier for clearing adds. Obviously, if your grenade lasts longer, you'll get a lot more kills with it. Then we do have Spark of Shock, your Arc Grenade Jolts targets. This is quite key as well, guys. Make sure you have this one on. And then we do have this here. While critically wounded, your melee and grenade energy regenerate more quickly, which is what this build's about. It's all about melee grenades up close. That is why we've combined them. So that is a super. Weapon wise, now weapons, this is what I really like about this build. You don't actually need any certain weapons to make this build work. It's more about the melee. However, you can run a shotgun with one two punch to make it a bit better. Or what I like to do to make it even better as well is use a sword. Now using a sword, obviously you'll be up close anyway. So if you do happen to like run out, or you mess up your lies handshake you will be able to just switch to the sword and kill them enemies really quickly and obviously swords are still really powerful in the game and they're quite easy to use with this build so that's why i've put that on now we're going to talk about stats now my armor is not great for this build i can't lie i need to get some more armor with higher resilience but what you're going to want to be aiming for with this build guys make sure you have 100 resilience it's crucial for this build Obviously get as close to it as you can. 
And then the next one you want to do is Discipline. If you can get 100 Resilience, 100 Discipline, you'll pretty much be unstoppable at this build. And honestly, you'll just absolutely kill everything. Now, starting off with a helmet, you are going to want Arc. And you are going to want to have Resilience mod, hands on, gain bonus super energy on melee kills. This is going to be crucial. You'll fly up your super and you'll be able to get it so many more times. Next, we're going to talk about the Liar's Handshake. This exotic is what makes this build. Now, we'll talk about the mods I've put on it first. We do have a Resilience mod, Focusing Strike doubled up. Grants class ability energy when you cause damage with a melee attack. You're going to be doing this all the time, so make sure you do have that on. And then we do have this High Energy Fire. While charged with light, gain a bonus to weapon damage. Each defeated combatant consumes one stack, so we do have that on. Now for the chest piece we do have Resilience mod, Thermoshock plating, basically that just reduces damage from solar and arc. Then we do have Concussive dampener, reduces incoming area of effect damage from combatants. And then this is a good one here guys, make sure you have this on. Uh, font of wisdom, picking up an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type. Grants you significant increase in your intellect, improving the rate of charge for your super. So as you can see, we don't have great intellect, so that is a good perk to have. Next, what we do have is Discipline Mod with Sword Scavenger. Obviously, if you're not using a sword, don't use this. Use something else like, I don't know, Inversion, anything like that. And then we do have Recuperation, replenishes health each time you pick up an orb. And then obviously, to make most of High Energy Fire, we do have Taking Charge. So when we pick up them orbs, we'll be able to do even more damage with our weapons. And then for the final one, what we do have is Cloak of the Exile with Arc. And then we do have Resilience mod, Outreach, reduces melee cooldown when using your class ability. And then we do have 1-2 Finisher, and that is, you can use it obviously if you're struggling and you need to get that sort of abilities back to keep running. You can use obviously 160 super. I wouldn't recommend it unless you were desperate, but it's just there as a backup. And then obviously we do have powerful friends just to keep our mobility quite high. Obviously, if we wanted to, we could use Lucent Blade. If you want to use that sword, obviously it'll deal a lot more damage and it could be worth doing that. But that is a build, guys. Obviously, this is one of the best builds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with some gameplay of this build to finish off the video. But, like I said, I'll be making more builds in the future. Trust me, they're going to be the best builds out there. So make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on so you guys don't miss an upload. And let me know what class you want me to do next. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.